Hello, we are the Resort Reservation System Group, and today we're going to be presenting to you the Architecture and Updated Project Plan Report. First, we had a couple of major changes in our requirements. We took the databases we had, which was room, service, report, and announcements, and combined them into one custom RRS database. The system will have now a total of two databases, the Drupal generated database for content and user management, and also the custom RRS database that will store all records related to the resort facilities and services. One of the second major changes was the announcement system and it being available for staff members only in the first release as opposed to having announcements for guests and resort staff. In the JAD sessions, we will present to the customer the mock-up of the web app in order to give them an idea of the design of the implementation. The mock-ups are made using a prototype software, Azure RP Pro, that allow quick modifications on the fly. This way, we can make the modification during the session in front of the customer for quick feedback. The following is a low fidelity prototype of the whole website in order to plan the various screens. We then created the screens using Azure RP for a more accurate visualization and most importantly buttons and fields that might be connected to the database. The top level design architecture style for the resort reservation system is the layout system as it is possible to partition a complex problem into incremental steps. It contains several different kinds of modules, and we are also going to use an inbuilt complex database platform in Drupal. The layered system makes it easier to distinguish each part from the other. Secondly, the layered style allows improvement in incremental steps, which are suitable for the project, as we are using agile process and need to be flexible with requirements and develop the system step by steps. This is doable as each layer interacts with at most two layers, the above layer and the below layer. As an alternative, we also thought of choosing the Blackboard style as it has a central data structure which will represent the Drupal inbuilt database, which the system depends on. The data structure then interacts with other components, though the disadvantage of the Blackboard style is that it does not focus on the end user and the user interface, which is central for the resort reservation, as it is a web platform and easy to understand in the layered style. We also thought of using the MVC as it is a common web user architecture style, but the disadvantage to this is that using Drupal makes it hard to separate the view and control as we don't write a lot of scripts. This also makes it not suitable for small projects which have adverse effect in the project's performance and design. We established RRS database in a local host in PHP MyAdmin. There are totally 13 tables, seven of which are entity tables having their own primary keys, and six which are relationship tables having foreign keys. One staff can make several announcements, and one announcement can only be done by one staff. The relationship between the staff and the manager's reports are all one-to-one -one cardinality. One guest can make more than one room reservation, but one reservation can only be done by one guest without any duplication. Same thing on meal reservation and service reservation. There are three things that need to be pointed out. In room table, there is one attribute called room type, which is currently empty based on the room price information the client gave us. There will be no price difference on different rooms since all rooms are one type in the current increment. The room reservation table is the same table we use to generate the bill report. The room reservation table is designed to include room charge, meal charge, and other service charges. The price table has seven service prices, including room price, which varies through four different seasons. In the requirement table, we add a column called architectural component, which divides and separates the requirements into several layers. For example, the framework is on the user interface layer, and the requirements with database and the functional area have the database layer. Furthermore, a lot of the requirements of the function area type user interface are divided into the access slash application layer. Since Drupal is a known COTS product used by many websites and proved itself reliable on the market, there is no need to test the internal structure and architecture of the Drupal framework. The testing that needs to be done on the framework per our test plan include checking for functionality and feature that we need for implementation and that can be done by inspection of the documentation. As the database will be custom, we will be writing one small script to make sure that the room database works individually from the web app. For estimation, 
This time we will be using application point sizing method. According to the database design and prototype, we re-estimate the number of reports, screens, and 3GL components. We got the application points and we estimated the percentage of reuse at about 40%. Then we chose the productivity rate at nominal level. Finally, we got the PM of 1.9 person months. As for schedule updates in phase 3, there haven't been too many changes from phase 2. However, you can clearly say, see the room database, user database, and server database, which have all by this time been turned into one web application database, are all on track in our schedule. In comparison to the estimation from our requirements analysis phase, the amount of hours has de decreased as the availability risk has resulted in lack of co-working together and redoing work as a result of not enough discussion in the group and understanding of the questions. Because we also added a few tasks into the schedule, such as testing, the labor hours need to be higher than 378 hours in total, which was the estimation for our last phase. A few defects in our project so far is first, we have a disagreement on the system context diagram. For second, the requirements numbers 56 through 59 should be divided into more small requirements that could be easily detailed. Third, the requirement of meal reservation was posted in release one, but room reservation in release two, which should be switched because room reservation should come firstly among all the services. Other kinds of reservations will not be allowed before the guests have booked a room. One of the last defects is that we have a room database, user database, and service database at the requirement analysis phase where we didn't have the real tables. And after the third report in our low fidelity diagram, we decided to integrate all into one database, including all 13 of the tables. Previously in our project, we had eight risks, three of which now have been checked. The three risks that have been checked is first the availability risk or knowing that everyone will be available and have enough time for the project. Second, the resource management risk or the allocation of tasks that are not matched to the developer team. And the third risk that was checked is the client availability risk, where the client may possibly not be able to participate in the requirement analysis and give their response, which we also checked by having weekly meetings and assessing the situation early. The five risks that have not been checked are the client acceptance risk, the compliance risk, the information risk, the knowledge risk, and the schedule risk. Some of the new risks that we've managed to see in the project are conflict risk or a severe personal conflict between group members that we've been able to check, and the overwork risk, which is trying to implement too many features and not being able to finish in time. As for the risks we have not yet checked, there's the utilized risk or Failure to utilize the project results in the end, meaning that the customer cannot benefit from the project. The prototype risk, which the client might not be satisfied with the UI design presented in our prototype and ask us to re-implement it. And then the last risk, which we have not checked, is the architectural design, or the database risk. We started to use Acquia def development desktop solutions to establish the database. However, we are still working to combine the database Drupal provided with our own established one together.